So Bart, we know that after a candidate applies with their resume, they will get a call, either a phone, or after the phone will be in person via Zoom or in person, hope things get better. So in terms of preparation for interviews, and as we talked about earlier, like selling themselves in the interview mm -hmm. process, and we know that they used to have, or, or they need to be prepared in terms of answering behavioral question, maybe mm -hmm. using the STAR method. Is there anything you can recommend for job seekers to, in terms of preparing for interviews? Absolutely. I want you to realize that, well, number one, don't try to make up your mind during an interview if you're interested or not, mm -hmm. because sometimes initially you're not interested. And then all of a sudden you realize this is something I want, but you haven't been real positive through the interview. So view the interview as an audition, just like movie stars want to get a, a role in a movie. Yes. So you want them to see you in the job. So you've got to really study what the job is. You've got to read the Google alerts, know everything about the company, research the person that's going to interview you, read their LinkedIn profile, mm -hmm. know everything about the person that's going to interview you, and then prepare for the normal questions. They're going to ask you to tell me about yourself. Yes. They're going to ask you your strengths and weaknesses. Yes. They're going to ask you why you left past jobs. And you've got to realize that there's many reasons why you leave. You never want to say something negative about a past company or a past employer because they're gonna wonder if it was them or you. Yes. So you wanna really, you know, you wanna answer your questions positively. If you don't know the answer, if, if all of a sudden your mind goes blank, mm -hmm. just say, you know, could, would you mind repeating that? Yeah. You know, give yourself a minute, give yourself a minute to, to think. And I also want you to realize that in an interview, when the person's asking you questions, they're in control because they're asking you the questions. And I know many people go to an interview and they leave and they didn't, even, they didn't even tell them the greatest things about them. It never came up. Mm -hmm. And so where you take over is when you ask questions. Yes. So when an interview is coming down, if they don't ask you if you have questions, then you have to say, do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Yeah. And then your role is when you ask your interviewer questions, your role is to find out what's most important to them. Mm -hmm. So can you tell me, you know, it's not to really ask some questions about benefits or money, nothing yeah. self-serving. You want to say, what's most important to you and the person that you hire? Yeah. What is the greatest challenge you think this person is going to, to face when they come to you? Mm -hmm. um, and then the best question you can ask, and I want you to write this down. Um, I want you to write this down because this is important. I want you to start your question with, I'm very confident I can do this job, and I'm very interested in working for you. So you give a commercial at first. I'm very interested in this job. I, you know, I, I'm confident I can do it. But you know what's most important is what do you think? Do you think I have the skills and experience to do the job? Mm -hmm. And then you don't say another thing and you listen to them because sometimes you thought you aced the interview and you're going to get the job and you don't. And you wonder why. Yeah. When you ask this question, you're not expecting it. And they'll always start out with what you did. Well, well yes, you've got this and you've got that and you've got this. If they use the word, but if they say, but I'm a little concerned about this, whatever follows the word, but is why you're going to get screened out. So now you have to say, you know what? I understand why you might feel that way. Let me explain why it won't be a problem. You've got to overcome their concerns because mm -hmm. that's why you're going to get screened out. But this is the way that, you know, maybe the interview wasn't going great. Maybe you didn't get to say everything you wanted to say. But yeah. as they're telling you what's important to them, you're letting them know your strengths. You're getting to sell yourself. One more tip I want to give you. If an interview is really going bad, say you're interviewing me, okay? Mm -hmm. And I know my interview is going awful. I just, the answers are in my head. It's not mm -hmm. making it to my mouth. It's not coming I'm out. not doing good. That happens. And I, because I've been up all night, I wanted the job and I'm blowing it and it's not going well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say, and, and role play with me, would you mind if we stop this interview for just a second? What are you going to say? Sure. Sure. Well, sure. Yeah. Let me explain. I've been up all night. I, I want this job so badly that I've almost overprepared. And the words are in my head. They're not making it to my mouth. I just feel like I'm not doing a good job because I'm so nervous. Yeah. If you could put me on the job and let me work, you'd hire me. But interviewing is sales. I'm not a salesperson. Mm -hmm. Can we start again? Can we just start this interview all over again? This means too much to me to have it going the way it is. Now, how do you feel about me? It feels that you're very honest and you mm -hmm. want uh, you want to tell me what you, you want to you know, tell you, your opinions, your ideas, mm -hmm. and we can restart again. Yeah, we're humans at the end of the day, right? We yeah, and what happens when you do this, I don't want you to always do this in an interview, yeah. but if an interview is going bad and you do this, almost always that person gets hired because they're sincere, 
they told them, I really want this job. I've been up all night. I'm not a job hopper. I don't have a lot of interviewing experience. You know, this means so much to me that I don't want it to go bad. Yeah. Can we start again? You're so honest. Yes. So when you have that in your pocket, that you know, if an interview goes bad, you can do that. Often you don't have to use it, but it's nice to have that as a little insurance policy where if it goes bad, I can do this. I can do that. So uh, thank you for those great tips. And I hope the audience will use some of the techniques that Barb said, especially asking the questions at the very end, because I believe that's important. And sometimes people don't ask questions, which I tell them you need to ask at least minimum four questions about the team, the culture. But again, asking that question, if they have any concern, then you can uh, make them ease and answer those questions. So again, uh, for the audience watching, listening, if you have any other tips, leave them below and tune in next time for other great questions with Bart.